Semper Fi Dulles to this flag, to what we believe in. It's always faithful to this. I think it was George Carlin actually had a great quote. He had some good stuff. He's crazy. He was so crazy. He had a great quote. That I, this I will officially leave you on. Okay. Here's his quote. <laughs> Thanks, bro. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Here's his quote. He said, never, ever argue with stupid people. They will drag you down to their level and beat you with experience. So here's my challenge to you guys. When you are confronted with a movement like this or any other movement, take 100% control of your emotion and do not allow yourself to get intoxicated. Understand that you're going to respond to that situation and not react. When you react, it's knee-jerk, it's emotion-based, and it's something you're going to regret. Our movement needs to let everybody else know it's warm inside, guys. Come yes, with us. Come we love you. Right? We love you. Kuna Matata. Freaking Lion King. Kuna Matata. Mufasa, all that good stuff. Back at you, man. Semper Fi to all you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Brandon, Tim, Alexandra, everybody else. This, her voice, by the way, is just totally out of control. They didn't know what to do over there. She started belting out some stuff. I'm like, ooh. She was like shattering glass and stuff. It was awesome. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Okay, appreciate having you. Thank Give it up for Ed Whitmire, everybody. Emotional Marine, the Emotional Marine, Amazon.com. Thank you. I love this next guy coming up. He's American from Liberia. He's back here talking over here. I want to do my best impression of this guy because. He is so psyched. We have Mr. Eugene Boycott! Yeah, they don't got me warmed up over there on these interviews and stuff. And boy, yeah, B-O-I-K-A-I. <laughs> don't misspell my name. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Hey guys, how y'all doing out there, first of all? Come on now, we better than that. How y'all doing? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Guys, I want you to look up here, right? And then I want you to remember something, right? Whenever you think about the Democrat, or whenever you think about uh, whatever the like, matter, or whatever they doing over there, they call themselves, this is what I want you to remember. Yeah, wait, okay. This is what I want you to remember. It's called uh, 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 poverty pimps. Yeah. No, no, Democrat, poverty pimps, poverty pimps. Anytime you think about the Democrat, right? I want you to think about poverty pimps. Yeah, you see out there, you are cited. Tell me what they've done for the community. Tell me what they've done for the community. No, you say Democrat because apparently you must be for some kind of Black Lives Matter or something because I'm a black man right here with black roots and everything. So I want you to see I'm trying to disqualify me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, tell me what they've done for the community. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Civil Rights Acts of 1964. Keep, keep, keep going. What it done? What it done? What it done? Do you even know what you're talking about, dog? Okay, so... No, no, it's, it's called a conversation. It's all peaceful. It's peaceful. Now, this is good. This is good. But look, anyway, poverty pimps. That's what I want you to remember. Anybody that know what a pimp is, know what a pimp do. And that's what these guys do, right? Okay, I was on Facebook. I told you, I guarantee you, you're not going to overtalk me. I can guarantee you that. And I'm being humble. I'm being humble. I can, I can care, cause right now you being disrespectful. I gave you, I gave you the chance, didn't you know? It's my time to shine. Is it not my time to shine? You, did you get on the mic? Did you get on the mic? But I'm not talking it. They, they, they ain't here to see you, dog. They ain't here to see you. You were nowhere on the flyer. You nowhere nothing. So play your role. Play your role. This is my time. This is Baltimore and Dick. Play your role. Play your role, dog. Get on the mic and try to do the best that I can right now, now to keep on going. But, but it's stuff like you and stuff, right? Yeah. Man, like I 
I say poverty pimp, and they send out a little, little whatever like that, right? Just to mess things up. But they're not strong enough because they have no idea what they're doing. They have no idea what they stand for. They got that, look, right there, I want y'all to put my name on there too, Democrats. Right there. Because me, Eugene Boycott, y'all have my, y'all have your neck, your feet on my neck. As a black man out in this city, you know why I'm here? I always register as an independent. Always. I'm a father of four. Same mother. I went against every ass. Lost this finger right here, right? Working, working, try to build a life for my family. I went, I went when Obama, by the same damn Democrat, was he taking serious? I went to three different states and I marched. We ate cold donut. Cold donut. That's how serious it was. We met up at the bus stop. That's how loyal I was. I was hoping. I was marching, man. I ain't walk away then. I was walking straight to my demise. Yeah. I was walking straight to my death. Do you know? I went knocking on doors for Obama. I did everything because I believe in that fake ideology. Every single day. You see right here? I am an endangered species. Every time I'm under the democratic policy, I am an endangered species. This is what you get. So when they bring that little rats in which we have in Baltimore, yes, the president said he meant it. It is true. If you think I'm lying, I challenge anybody. I'm coming for that hole right there. I'm coming for that hole. You ask anybody that's on the ground in Baltimore City that the president said something wrong. But once again, Democrats all they do is create feelings. Oh, you feel? I just feel like he's shame that said that. And he threw, he said that, and then this man threw money at us. He threw money at us that went missing. He went in and this is why I can't even say what's going on. He threw money at us. They don't tell them that. You know why I know? Because I actually hit the ground. See, I'm a ass. I'm a look, it's 25 to 1 of the battle I'm fighting, alright? It's 25. But I'm in there, my boost is on, I'm walking away from them. But I'm bringing them hell. I'm going to bring them hell because I don't need them to speak for me no more. I'm going to tell you where this journey started. It started with two little girls. Anybody that followed you, Jane Boycott now, I need y'all to thank, thank Gianna and Victoria because they opened up the gate. Those two little girls, when my daughter had to cry, that was it. I challenge any man over here, even you, if you are not here to stand for family, what the hell you standing for? No, this is a real challenge. If you are not here to stand for family, what the hell are you standing for? What are you trying to sell me, Democrat? What? That is more important for a man that feel like a woman. That's, and that's, that's more important. I respect everybody. I want that to be clear. I respect everybody I got. I can't tell you how many white friends I have, or gay friends, or lesbian. I don't care. Anybody that knows you, Jane Boycott, know. I will treat you how you treat me. Point blank and period. I don't explain myself to nobody. But I stood up one day when my daughter had the cry. When I begged this Baltimore, I worked for y'all. I did everything for y'all. Y'all, you took your knees, your knees, and you put it on my neck. You crippled me as a black man. All I wanted to do was be with my daughters. I never did nothing wrong in this law. You try to create something that was not there. They try to create something that was not there because they couldn't understand. I went to food stand place. The lady laughed at me. Why do you have your son? Do you know how insulting that is? Why do I have my son? I want my life off trying to procreate my whole family from Africa. That's why I'm telling you, I print the certification. If you're going to talk about African American, I print it. So now, Bring your rappers at me. Bring your Bootsy, that crackhead. Bring your T.I. I will spit lava at him. Not only when I bring intelligent items, when I get on that studio, I'm going to break. I'm going to make sure he never, never, ever want to touch the mic. Battle me. Yes. Well, that's the new so let me tell you one thing for our conservative people over here. Because believe it or not, I stay in a dark room and I watch this everything. I don't respond to everything. Some of you guys out there think y'all gonna insult us uh, by saying these new Republicans, these 
do, Republican? You know what I did? Like I do everything in life. I took that new Republican now. Anytime you see my name, you will see it. I flipped it. I flipped it. We are the new Republican. I want you to look at this right now. I'm the new conservative. I am a new Republican. All we dress as are independent. But my idea has always been a Republican. There's no different from a, a, a white man on this side of the country. You know, we all are uh, believing in conservative value than a kid in Africa working hard for what he believes. They have the same belief when they come together. So don't get that misunderstood of conservatism versus this party called Republican. I am a new Republican, but I've always been an old conservative. So let's get that straight. You see right here, I can go where some of y'all cannot go. A lot of these cats, right, we are together. We ain't getting no press from not even our own party or no this, that. I told him, don't worry about it. We don't need it. We got this. We got this. Because you know what? Gianna and Victoria, they, these cats are pit bull. But what they forgot is, y'all just let a lion out the gate. Y'all just let, this campaign is not the last of you, Jay Boycott. I would stand in front of anybody that want to talk about Black Lives Matter as a black man. I'm telling you, thank you for your idea, but get the hell on. We don't need it. You need to walk away. Go ahead. Walk away from us. I don't need you to represent us no more. Don't need y'all to. So this is a new era in our Republican Party. This is a new era. We're fighting for the spirit of this country. I want y'all to remember that. These guys are trying to control everything. And when you don't line up with what they're trying to say, they put their knees on your neck. That's exactly what they do. You hear me? So this is a new era. Real men are standing up, not kneeling down. We're standing up. And we're ready for this fight. So bring it on. Any roaches, any rats, anything you got, bring it. Bring it. Bring it. New Republican ready to go. My name is Eugene Boycott. Eugene Boycott, we can't tell you no A perfect segue. Can you keep up with that? I don't know about that, man. One thing that a lot of us have in common is this guy right here. He's from Georgia. All the way. Eric Carroll. He runs a show called Dad Talk Today. And it's all in it's all about family stuff. And you've heard a lot of people here talking about family stuff. I wanted to give Eric a minute here. The floor is all yours, buddy. All right. Hey, thank you for that, Tim, and thank you for Brandon and everybody for coming out here today. I want to talk about an issue. It's father absence. Uh, a lot of you might know Mr. Lieutenant Colonel West. We had him on the show a couple of weeks ago. He talked about when he was growing up. Intact families in the African American yeah. community was at eighty percent. Now we're at twenty percent of wow. homes that are growing up with a dad. What is going on here? I believe all of the issues that we see today in this society is coming. We can fix them if we put back the family where it needs to be. The family has been taken out. We've got to put the family back in. We are at a 55% divorce rate. You see what's going in on the streets. You see what's going in on our schools. 26 out of 27 of the mass shooters, to quote my friend Dr. Warren Farrell, came from fatherless homes is an issue that we've got to start talking about. They're not talking about us. The mainstream media doesn't talk about us. So we're gonna become the media. And I wanna say thank you to people like you and the event organizers for giving us a voice and allowing us to be here. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Eric. Give it up for Eric Carroll, everybody. Chris Anderson, just coming back out. I'm not trying to steal Eugene Boycott's thunder, I'm not. I'm not, I just want to introduce the next speaker. She is a walkaway member, Hannah Lynn. But before then, I said something earlier with the 300 men march who stopped. Uh, Baltimore's not dangerous, I want everybody to realize that. Everybody tweet out to everybody. Nothing happened to you, no cars were stolen, no shootings, no nothing, and the protesters left, okay? Baltimore's fine, we're saving it. But the 300 men, I marched with them on one rally. I, didn't, I was not in the group. But they, this group is keeping Baltimore self. They are safe. They're called the 300 men. Without further ado, walk away member. We can't do much without her. She does everything for us. Hannah Lynn. <laughs> Should have worn a walk away shirt. Where your walk away shirt? I got my freedom shirt on thanks to Goli and Noir. And I got my HQL. So, um, 
born in Baltimore. I live in, I live in the county, but, <laughs> but I love Baltimore and I'm so grateful that Brandon has brought Walk Away to Baltimore. Um, I have a poem to share with you. It's called Revolutionary. And earlier when Joy kicked us off, she said that we are in the midst of another revolution. So um, I just want to share briefly, a few years ago, I was told that it was an insult for me to compliment my husband or even to say that I loved him because I was a white woman and he was a black man. And therefore, anything that I said to him was inherently condescending because I was told I would always be in the position of a slave owner and my husband would always be in the position of a slave and that our entire relationship existed only within the confines of that power dynamic. There could be no genuine love, there could be no mutual respect between us as equals. That was 13 years ago, and that was considered to be a fringe ideology. Today, that is essentially the platform of the Democrat Party. So I walked away from the racism of the left that declares that there can be no authentic relationships between people of different races, that claims that the only value that we can find is in our collective group identity as either oppressor or oppressed, and not as individuals, not as individuals who respect and love one another. I reject the idea that as individuals, our authenticity is determined solely by whether we accept the ideology of the Democrat Party. And I walked away from a party that believes that their only source of power is in dividing is us by class, by race, by sex, yes. so that we only see each other as enemies instead of as fellow Americans who are united and equal participants in this great American experiment for human freedom. Yeah. Yeah. So you have people across the country tearing down monuments, burning down courthouses, and they think that they are starting a revolution. But the real revolution is in authenticity. The real revolution is in refusing to be silenced by the mob, in speaking truth even when it is unpopular, in choosing who you love regardless of sex or skin color, and in standing up and daring to declare that you are an independent thinker. This is the revolution. This is revolution. My lover does not lock his hair. It waves like the sea. And yet he can unlock mysteries inside of me. And maybe he doesn't reach out to Africa the way he should, afraid to embrace a mother he's never known. But that doesn't mean that he doesn't see the good in his own people. He is a black man, and he is a strong man, although sometimes he stumbles. And if I am the one he leans on, then I must be strong, even if my color is wrong. They say it don't rub off, but I think they lied, for I have cried every tear that he has cried, licked them from his eyes, and tasted his suffering, borne his oppression upon my back, and given birth to his despair, and still my lover does not lock his hair. But he has run his fingers through mine and called me beautiful. And if he told you that in some poem he's bad, would you doubt him, condemn him with your eyes, or criticize his size if he declared how bright that she's not just damn near, but damn, she's white? Too many brothers are too quick to step to me, but won't step to the mic with any authenticity. Talking about revolution and down with the system, but won't risk looking politically incorrect before conventional wisdom. But if every revolutionary act is an act of love, then our love is a revolution. And our children will change the world simply by being born into it. Change the world by uniting worlds so that there will be no white history or black history, but their history. Where Norma J. 
Only princes dance with Nubian queens across blue-eyed oceans and Puerto Rican skies. And would you judge them too and prepare your attack? Too nappy to be white, too light-skinned to be black. And if they too chose not to lock their hair, would you care? Put it in a palm and tear them apart. You see, it don't matter what you wear on your head. What counts comes from your heart. So no, my lover's hair may not be locked. It waves like the sea. And yet he can unlock mysteries inside of me. And together, together, we can change the world. God bless America. Thank you, Anna Lynn. So we're about to wrap up. I want to thank everybody. Hold a second, please. I'm going to thank everybody. We're going to bring Brandon back up here in just a second. He's going to say a few closing remarks, and then we'll, I think we'll go out on a good note. We'll sing God Bless America after Brandon says his goodbyes. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, the founder of Walk Away, the man who put all this together, fighting to take back our country and rescue America, Brandon Strap. Thank you, thank you. You guys, you are such troopers. I know this was not easy. This, it is like a broiling, broiling day today. From now on, I'm doing these rallies at like 11.30 p.m. going forward. <laughs> it's gonna be very sexy, it's gonna be a very late night event. Um, thank you for coming out. I know it was not easy to stand in the sun today. You guys are really true warriors, true troopers, and it really shows me that you do care about rescuing America. The next time we do this, I want to, I, I want to see three times as many, and then the next time three times as many, and then the next time three times as many, and we're going to get there. We're going to learn lessons every single time. This was just the first one. This is only the beginning. I love you guys so much, and I know that you guys love this country. We are going to rescue America. I promise you we will. Good always wins, but we must show up. It's so important. The last thing I have to say to you is please continue to get involved with Walkaway and what we do. You can actually text the word Walkaway to 858 Walkaway. Very easy to remember, 858 Walkaway. If you do that, you'll be on our text message list. We do not spam you, I promise. We only text you to let you know things like, hey, we're coming to this state, or hey, we're coming to this state, or you know, we have this event going on. Do that. You'll you'll love hearing from us. Uh, get on our email list. And uh, please, please donate to our grassroots organization so we can keep this moving and keep this building. I love you guys so much. Thank you for coming today. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Be safe on your way home, and we'll sing a song to send you guys out. So in addition to me being a political activist, I'm also a professional opera singer. Oh. So we're going to sing God Bless America, whatever key you can sing it. <laughs>
under Linda uh, Flintstein. Thank you so much for everybody. If you have not registered to vote, please talk to Linda and please go over and register to our left. It is very important we now all have the right to vote. Let's vote. Again, thank you again to Brandon Strzok for coming all the way over here for his wonderful movement, hashtag walkaway. Please go on hashtag walkaway on Facebook. Please, please, if you can go to any of his events nationwide, I encourage you all to do that. Again, thank you to Tim Faisenbaker, born and bred in the heart of Dundalk, Maryland, for putting this together with Brandon Strzok. Thank you so much, everybody. Good night. Okay, so that one was done with uh, through Zoom, okay. uh, through the Walk Away Maryland, but I don't know if they spread it out to everybody else or not. Um, so, are you are you part of the Walk Away? Uh, you're a, uh, well. What I mean is, <coughs> excuse me. Are you? You're on. You're actually so you're on their Facebook page. So, if you're on their Facebook page. Hey everybody, um, I'm going to line up here, or, I mean, uh, I'll, I'm happy to take pictures with everybody, we're going to really try to do it in the sun, so if you don't mind if we could just do it kind of fast because it's, it's really, really hot. Uh, I also want to tell you one more thing. There's a woman, uh, I don't see her now. Little, little uh, tiny cute little woman. She just said to me, she came here today by herself, and she said, today is the day I'm stopping afraid. I got burgers, hot dogs, beans. Amazing, amazing, amazing. We need more of that. All right, let's take some pictures. All right, so All right, all shit, all right. And you're doing some shots with me, right? Yeah, right, I am. And we got this fine-ass bait coming in. You want Vila with her with her trunk wrap? You get a picture? Uh, I don't think. You huh? No, not not for myself. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.